Uh, welcome again to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about high blood pressure during pregnancy, which is also known as preeclampsia as a medical term. If a pregnant woman developed high blood pressure, we say that that pregnant woman had preeclampsia. So if high blood pressure goes untreated during pregnancy, both the mother and the baby could face more serious health concern. In general, Carefully monitoring and some lifestyle changes can lower your risk of developing complications from high blood pressure. So high blood pressure that develop during pregnancy or gestational hypertension is defined as blood pressure greater than or equal to 140 over 90 mm of mercury. So the condition is serious concern for some pregnant woman. So when it's well managed, high blood pressure during pregnancy isn't always dangerous. But it can sometimes cause severe health complications for both mother and developing babies. So this is what you should know. So what causes high blood pressure during pregnancy? So there are several possible causes of high blood pressure during pregnancy. This include being overweight or obese, not getting enough physical activities, smoking, drinking alcohol, first time pregnancy, Family history of pregnancy related hypertension. Coering more than one child means multiple pregnancy. Age over 45. Assistive reproductive technology such as in vitro fertilization or IVF. Having diabetes or other autoimmune disease. So risk factor for high blood pressure during pregnancy include so there are several few risk factors that could make high blood pressure more likely during pregnancy, like lifestyle and health lifestyle choice may lead to high blood pressure during pregnancy. So being overweight or obese or not staying active are a major risk factor for high blood pressure. And even the type of pregnancy. So women experiencing their first pregnancy are more likely to have high blood pressure. Fortunately, there is a lower chance of this condition in subsequent pregnancy. So carrying Multiple pregnancy can make it multiple means multiple just pregnancy means you have more than one baby in your abdomen on your uterus can make it more likely for a woman to develop hypertension because the body is working harder to nourish more than one baby. So according to American Society for Reproductive Medicine, using assistive technology also is a risk factor. Age can also be a factor. Pregnant women over the age of 45 are at high risk. So women who had high blood pressure before pregnancy are at high risk of related complications during pregnancy than those with normal blood pressure. Even chronic hypertension. So sometimes a woman has pre-existing high blood pressure or hypertension before she gets pregnant. So this may be referred to as chronic hypertension and is usually treated with blood pressure running medication and even also chronic hypertension with superimposed preeclampsia means that women who have chronic hypertension before becoming pregnant can develop preeclampsia so this occurs when they experience protein in the urine or additional complications such as the pregnancy as the pregnancy progress so tracking blood pressure during pregnancy so a blood pressure Reading is a fraction. You use systolic blood pressure over your diastolic blood pressure. So the top number is the systolic blood pressure, which is a measurement of the pressure on your arteries when the heart is beating or is squeezing food forward through your body. So the diastolic pressure or the lower number is a measurement of the blood pressure in your arteries when the heart is at rest. So what is considered normal blood pressure during pregnancy? So to, to determine what your normal blood pressure is during pregnancy, so we, we like to take a basal blood pressure measurements at your first visit, then we we'll measure your blood pressure at every visit that follow. So normal blood pressure is anything less than 120 over 80 mm of mercury. So what is considered high blood pressure during pregnancy is a blood pressure that is greater than 105 over 90 mm of mercury, or that is... 15 degree higher on the top number from where you started before pregnancy may be cause of concern. So high blood pressure during pregnancy is defined as over 140 or higher systolic blood pressure 
with the asterisk blood pressure get to the 90 mm. So what is considered the low blood pressure during pregnancy? So well, there isn't a definitive number that is too low. Well, there are symptoms that are associated with low blood pressure like headache, dizziness, nausea, feeling faint and cold or calm, calm skin. Change in blood pressure during pregnancy. So as a woman progresses in her pregnancy, her blood pressure may change or return to pre-pregnancy levels. So there are a few possible reasons for this. So the, the amount of blood in a woman's body increases according to the journal circulation. A woman's blood pressure increases by as much as 45% during pregnancy. So this is extra blood pressure that the heart must pump to fort the body. So the left ventricle means the left side of the heart that does a significant amount of pumping becomes thicker and larger. So this temporary effect allows the heart to work harder to support the increased blood volume. So the kidneys release increased the amount of vasopressin, which is the hormone that leads to increased water retention. So in the most case, high blood pressure during pregnancy will decrease after the baby is delivered. In the case where blood pressure remains elevated, the doctor may prescribe medication to get it back to normal. So thank you for watching. Uh, together with Dr. Patrick, remember to do subscription to our YouTube channels. Thank you. Uh, welcome again to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about high blood pressure during pregnancy, which is also known as pre -cramps.